Wim syndrome is a rare primary immunodeficiency disorder, which means the body's immune system doesn't function properly, so individuals are more susceptible to infections caused by viruses and bacteria. Components of the blood develop in the bone marrow, which is the spongy centre of some bones. When they are mature, they move into the blood and circulate around the body. Some of these cells, called white blood cells, are part of the immune system and fight against infections. There are several types that have their own specialised functions. These include neutrophils and monocytes, which are part of the initial infection response, T lymphocytes, called T cells, which help regulate the immune response, and B lymphocytes, called B cells, which secrete antibodies. Antibodies are also called immunoglobulins and are abbreviated Ig. They are proteins that coat viruses and bacteria and either kill them or help white blood cells to find them. In Wim syndrome, neutrophils and other immune cells don't move out of the bone marrow efficiently, so they are not present in high levels in the blood to fight infections. Now, Wim syndrome is an acronym for the common signs and symptoms of the disorder but not all individuals will experience them, or to the same severity. Warts are caused by a common virus called human papillomavirus, abbreviated HPV. Warts are most commonly found on the hands and feet, but occasionally also on the arms and legs as well as the face. They may also be found both externally and internally at the anus or genitals, where some can develop into cancers. Hypogammaglobulinemia means fewer antibodies are present in the blood caused by low levels of B cells in the blood. But low levels of T cells and especially neutrophils are seen. Bacterial infections can begin at an early age and may be chronic or recurring. These infections can happen anywhere in the body, but commonly involve the skin, ears, sinuses, mouth, lungs, joints and bones, and urinary tract. Sometimes these lead to more serious complications, like impaired function and in severe cases, death. Finally, myelocathexis refers to the unusually high levels of white blood cells trapped in the bone marrow, particularly neutrophils. Wim syndrome is caused by changes or mutations in the CXCR4 gene. This gene provides the instructions to make a protein called a chemokine receptor, which is on the surface of most white blood cells. Typically, it helps the cell move around the body. In Wim syndrome, the mutation increases the activity of the receptor and prevents the cell's proper movement, like leaving the bone marrow. A CXCR4 gene mutation can occur without a family history of Wim syndrome, but usually it's inherited from a parent. Wim syndrome is an autosomal dominant disorder, which means inheriting just one copy of the mutation is enough for an individual to be affected. Diagnosis of Wim syndrome can be based on an individual's symptoms and medical history, like recurrent infections, and family history of the disorder. A few clinical tests are especially important, like a blood test called a complete blood count with differential. This test typically shows low levels of cells circulating in the blood, especially neutrophils. Another type of test, called a bone marrow biopsy, is a way of actually seeing the high numbers of white blood cells in the bone marrow. And finally, a genetic test to identify a mutation in the CXCR4 gene can confirm the diagnosis. Treatment for WIM is typically managed by a team, including a paediatrician, an immunologist, haematologist and dermatologist. Infection prevention can include vaccinations, particularly for HPV, and infusions like intravenous immunoglobulin, abbreviated IVIG, which increases the level of immunoglobulins. Some investigational therapies, like plerixifor and mavarixifor, decrease the activity of the CXCR4 protein. If an infection occurs, prompt treatment is needed. This may include antibiotics and injections to increase neutrophil levels in the blood, like granulocyte colony stimulating factor, or GCSF. It may also be necessary to treat complications from infections, like removing warts from a HPV infection to prevent progression to cancer. Finally, genetic counselling is recommended to help families understand the genetics and family history of Wim syndrome and to provide psychosocial support. As a quick recap, Wim syndrome is an inherited immunodeficiency disorder that causes individuals to be more susceptible to bacterial and viral infections. The main signs and symptoms include warts, hypogammaglobulinemia, infections and myelocathexis. 
Diagnosis may require blood tests, bone marrow biopsy and genetic testing. Treatment focuses on prevention and management of infections.